Okay, we're going to create a section in info path that's not visible unless the user selects no. So here's what I've got so far. Uh, did you achieve your goals? Answer yes. Answer no. If I choose no, then I want to have in this space here above the black bar a section pop up with controls in it or whatever I need to make the user fill out additional data. If it's yes, I'm good. I don't need anything else extra. Okay. So I'll go in and create uh, the section in the controls group home tab. We go to section container and I can make that really big if I need to. And then in that section, you can see this group here is the section. In that section, you can add whatever you feel like. I'm going to add a rich text box to lead off here. And I'll just call that uh, reason why no. And then just to have a little bit uh, more interaction, can't quite click inside there. There we go. There we go. Got the cursor blanking. Let me go ahead and add um, a table uh, with a few more controls in it just for kicks. A couple of text boxes here. It won't really matter what that is. That's what they're going to be typing and then additional data here. Okay. So we step one, we select the section and go to add rule, manage rules. It doesn't know what to do, so it just takes you to the manage rule. We'll click new. This is a formatting rule, the formatting of hiding the section. So let's take care of that first. Hide this control is chosen, and that includes anything inside of the section. Now you got to tell it why you're hiding it, because if something's true, if uh, this drop down box does not equal no, hide this information. So you got to think of it logically in the reverse. So click none and you go to the the field uh, reason why no. Now I've already chosen that in earlier so normally you would click uh, select a field or group and go into the goals met that's your drop down is equal to we need to flip that to is not equal to and then you have type text number date time a variety of things formulas even type of text now one thing I've noticed is it is case sensitive first time trying this I typed no lowercase o and it didn't work and I was scratching my head went back did uppercase no that's how I provided the values in the drop down so make sure it's literally matches exactly how you have the values populated off your drop down then we hit OK. Let's test it out. So far I like what I see here. Did you achieve your goals? No, I didn't. Boom. And then I can type my reason why here. You can see uh, the, the fields populated there. That's awesome. So that allows uh, for one to manage adding a drop down that's connected to the the choice there. One last little side note uh, that you might run yourself into is a checkbox. And you could totally add a little checkbox uh, next door to wherever that you're looking for. I'll do that real quick. Here's a little checkbox control and I'll name it checkbox. It's true false. So another way that we could hide a section, let me go in and add another section in between. Container section. Okay, I'll click on that section here. I'm going to go to add rule, manage rules. What happened there? Okay. No, oh, I don't have the section selected. Okay, here we go. So again, it's a formatting rule hide this control condition will be 
if the, here we go, checkbox, it does pick up on it actually. If the checkbox is equal to, so let's think about this logically. If it's not checked, it's false. I mean, you could go either way. So let's say you want to check it, then it would turn true, and you'd have the ability to um, see this new section here. Is equal to false. I need to double check to make sure the logic's right. If that's not checked, yeah, then hide this. Okay. Just for good sakes, let me color that so we can verify it with a little color inside. I'll make it yellow. Whoa. Did not need to do it that way. I need to make sure the selection is selected here. Yellow. All right, there we go. And then I'll preview that. I like what I see, and I could check or not check to be able to populate that section in there. So there we go. Hope that helps you out.